you know um, you spoke about the uh, the jagannath temple and the parikrama around it now um, the prime minister said uh, and uh, he said he spoke about the jagannath mandir and he said that for the past 6 years the keys of the jagannath uh, temples uh, ratna bhandar has been missing and he said that leaders of the bjd are involved in this conspiracy about the keys missing uh, can you explain to our viewers what is this controversy those who are not odias may not know about this so can you tell us about this ratna bandar is the treasury of lord jagannath it has not been opened till uh, from 80s onwards more than 40 years nobody has opened it because there has to be an occasion to open and the ratna bandar and temple affairs are managed by a committee which is headed by gajapati maharaj puri gajapati maharaj he is not a political person or he is not an official he they have the hereditary rights and uh, uh, they manage the uh, affairs of uh, sri mandir it is headed by gajapati maharaj so 40 years if something has not been opened and it has got, and everyone in odisha will be knowing when the ratna bandar is going to open there will be a series of uh, rituals to be done and practices to be done mm -hmm. how will it will be open what all key so many processes are there it cannot be done without anyone's knowledge mm -hmm. so in this 40 years 10 years was uh, two bjp ministers who held that portfolio mm -hmm. mr vishwabhushan uh, uh, harichandan who is presently the honorable governor of chatisgarh and mr manmohan samal who happens to be the state president of bjp they both have held if there was anything amiss they could have raised it at that time it is 40 years 1980s nobody has opened it and honorable chief minister took over as cm only in 2000 from 2000 to 2010 these ministers were there who are holding the fort for uh, law department but it's not a question of it not being opened the keys are missing is what the prime minister said that is also under enquiry by the high court the, uh, which 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 the uh the committee has decided to open the ratna bandar on uh, during the ratyatra time hmm. during ratra ratyatra time it will be opened so everything will come to uh, everything will be known to people when that enquiry is completed whether if at all there was something missing if at all there was something missing okay. it will also come to the fore so right now nobody knows what has happened because 40 years 1980s okay, okay. so this is an issue which is uh, being sensationalized always during elections even in 2019 it was done 2019 it was done every by election it has been done and panchayat elections it, it was uh, raised and in panchayat election bjp lost all the districts bjd won 30 out of 30 districts if they think that these things can give electoral success this is what the history has been and uh, in this ratna bandar issue the government has been extremely transparent mm. and it is under the purview of the high court the high court ordered the government to form a committee a yeah, uh, justice of supreme court has been appointed along with eminent members to open the ratna bandar everyone is invited when it is open and you will get to know after 40 or 44 years it will be opened and what is there what is not there it will be known and it will be compared with the register so absolutely there is no cause of worry that something will be missing from ratna bandar who is maintaining the register register will be maintained by the uh, temple temple administration okay. which is headed by okay. gajapati maharaj gajapati. all right uh, the prime minister in katak said that the keys probably have been sent to tamil nadu the dig was totally at you he has made a political statement mm. so how do i respond to it you yes. you will have to because now you're in politics right how can you not respond i mean you're not no longer just an ias officer who will be silent so at a personal level it makes you feel saddened mm. that uh, lord jagannath and my connect with lord jagannath is being questioned for a political purpose which is very sad personally on a um, as a factual statement i would like to say that uh, completely baseless and it is very unfortunate hmm. um we spoke about uh, gujarati uh, sorry we spoke about uh, udia asmita and uh, the prime minister said that uh, and the bjp also says that uh, i should give a spiritual answer as well perhaps it is karmic to go through all this i leave it to lord jagannath to decide <laughs> really I'm absolutely i surrender jagannath culture is surrender you see most temples may you pray like this in jagannath you go and raise your hands it is complete surrender if the honorable prime minister has told like this then i surrender to lord jagannath is that how you uh, deal with 
all the criticism that comes absolutely, your way. Absolutely, absolutely. They say that what is Jagannath culture? Jagannath culture ka one of the important aspects is complete surrender. When you surrender, then you don't have much stress. Right. Uh, let but me but this this statement hurt me. Hmm. I am also a human being. It hurt me. Yeah. Uh, I can well understand that uh, personal attacks are something that you're not used to because you're new to politics, right? No, personal attacks at all other levels are okay, but linking it with Lord, whom you completely surrender, whom you are in love with, whom you think that you have Janam Janam ka connection with, so then you feel sad, then you feel hurt. So that, al that also you take it out by going to the Lord that the Honourable Prime Minister has spoken like this. So I leave it to you, Lord. You take care of me. That's it. Mr. Pandey, you are... But he made a political statement. He would not have meant what he said. That's, what, that's how 